SCP. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today, oh, it's quite late actually, but we're gonna be shooting a music video right now. So please hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications right now. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. So yeah, smash the subscribe button right now. Let's do that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this music video. Let's go. Hey guys and welcome back to a, another video and today we are basically reviewing this set right here uh, the friends foes the 13th doctor set the of course the limited edition set too so um, that is pretty good but before I get into this set I want to just tell you guys what I've reviewed already, so on the back of here it just shows you guys um, So I've reviewed this Sonic Screwdriver which, By the way, all of these reviews you can find out on my channel um, I reviewed Graham O'Brien figure Find that on my channel too 13th Doctor figure Here The um, Jadoon Captain and also the last of the figures, um, the Reconnaissance Dalek uh, from Resolution. So that one, and that also comes with the little mutant thing as well, which you guys can check out. And then obviously the last one, uh, which is the 13th Doctor's TARDIS and you can find my opinion and thoughts on this toy um, and all the rest of these figures and pieces right here um, which won't probably call that a figure but all of this is on my channel so if you can go check out all of these before this video uh, so you don't get any spoilers or anything um, but without further ado let's get straight in to the actual set. So guys, this is the set and it is much bigger than um, the previous ones, I must say, but it does include three figures. Um, and it is called the Friends and Foe of the 13th Doctor um, Collector figure set. Um, they could have called this something a little bit more simple than this, um, but apart from that, don't have any other major issues with that. Uh, it is, as shown here, a limited edition set. Um, I've actually picked this up discounted from 
Amazon, so shout out to Amazon for that. Um, in the corner here, it's got Doctor Who BBC logo, a picture of the TARDIS on the side, uh, obviously the title here, the character option, and it says the scale of the collector series set. Um, it also shows a nice big window right here so that you can see all of the figures in all of their glory um, at the end and you get to see you know what comes with the set as well um, on the bottom is just all this stuff that nobody actually cares about or ever reads um, as well as what's actually in the set just in case you don't know what's in the set that you're buying um, I suppose they just gotta put that there for legal reasons at the top uh, it's got all this stuff, um, pretty standard uh, text, in, but, but we'll say it again what it includes. Uh, the sides are pretty basic too, uh, nothing too special there. And then on the back, uh, it just shows what comes with in the set. So you've got the Yaz Khan figure, uh, the Ryan Sinclair figure, and the Jadoon Trooper figure. Uh, again, it's just got kind of the same information around the box um, and this nice kind of little strip of Gallifrey text um, that runs down here. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the packaging. So to get into this box, it is a little bit different to the regular ones. I just cut down the middle here through this tape and you obviously pull the flap out here. and pull up this top bit. Um, this is slightly different to um, sets that we're used to, um, but if you pull these down here, then this should move this plastic bit right here. So now that you have done this, uh, you obviously have these figures right here, and you have the box. I am actually going to be keeping this box uh, in storage because it is in pretty good condition and it is a limited edition uh, box. Uh, turning to the main features uh, here, you have all of the figures and as you guys can see on the back, uh, the gun is held in by anything, which is nice to see for once. Um, but all the figures have these little plastic straps again you literally just cut these and pop out all of the figures so the first figure to get out of here is Yaz and as you can see by this that you haven't done too bad of a job here um, so I'm just gonna go from the head to the toe and speak about everything at once in this one so um, yeah let's do this so, for the head, I think the head sculpture is pretty good um, and definitely does resemble Mandip um, or Yaz. Um, the hair sculpture is pretty good, um, but there is this little sort of join on the neck, uh, if you guys can see that there, which is kind of ugly a bit. Um, so, yeah probably not the best idea and they didn't have these on all the figures like um put Yaz back there to Graham's it's sort of hidden a bit by the collar um to try and you know minimize and again with Jody's um Literally, with Jody's head, there isn't even one there. Um, so, it just feels with this one that um, it's quite noticeable. So, obviously, coming down to the arms and the jacket, um, you can see on the jacket you've got the various wrinkles and definitely the same with the shirt. On the back, see the hair, and going down to the pants, you can see detailing of a belt that runs round uh, with a buckle on the front, and then sort of basic blue pants here. There is some wrinkling on there, if 
for detailing, um, but that is about it. Um, for the pants, um, you also have uh, hands which do have decent amount of detailing on them, showing the fingers and thumbs. And then at the bottom, you have the shoes, and they are pretty standard um, as they are in the show. Um, so not much problems there. You can clearly see that they've got a bit of a heel on them, and you obviously have um, the bottom of the shoes as well. And one thing that is kind of nice to see on this, which I'll just check right now. Uh, you may have noticed that there is actually no uh, legal printing on the bottom of them, so that is quite a nice touch. Um, here, as they usually seem to put them on every single figure these days, um, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, that is Yaz. Um, I've gone to uh, movements right now, so the head can actually move sort of side to side. Um, the arms can do full 360 around. Uh, they can do a full 360 this joint right here. Um, they can also bend uh, with this sort of elbow joint right here. It's about 90 degrees and that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, sorry, um, the wrists do actually turn a little bit, um, but you can't really do the full 360 without it feeling like it's gonna pop off a bit. Um, with the legs, you can kick them out like this. Uh, you can also bend them at the knee joint. And you can also, instead of having an ankle joint, uh, you can turn them around at the top of the leg with this joint right here. So that is the Yaz figure. And overall, I think it's a decent to all right figure. Um, could be a little bit improved to hide the little uh, neck joint right there. But apart from that, I think it's pretty decent. I like that they don't have all the legal writing on the bottom of the shoes. Um, even though it is pretty well hidden, it's just nice not to have it there. So after getting the second figure out, as you guys can see, the second figure is the Ryan figure, um, which, there we go. Um, as you can see, I am basically going to show you guys um, all of this. So start off with the head. You can see the hair is pretty nicely detailed on this one, uh, as well as the face sculpture, as you can see. It definitely resembles Ryan, uh, ears and everything. Uh, all sculpted very, very nice. Uh, the joint in the neck is practically invisible on this. So again, good work on this figure uh, with that one. Uh, the clothing uh, looks nice. Um, nice paint dabs to show wear. Uh, you can see all of the buttons on the front and the little um, pockets as well. As well as um, the pockets on the back and the wrinkling nearer to the top. Coming down to the arms, you have the same effect with the hands, showing details of fingers and thumbs on both sides. And then if you come down to the legs, you can see uh, they are in grey. But again, some wrinkling on there too. Then you come down to the shoes, and you can see the shoes have some fairly decent detailing on them. And then on the bottom, the shoes, you can see the soles of the shoes in good detail here. Um, and this one does actually have some uh, legal stuff on the bottom of the shoes. Um, so yeah, that is the overall look of the Ryan Sinclair figure. Um, with the movement in this figure and articulation, head can move side to side. I suppose it could technically do a full 360, um, but it's not really recommended. Um, you can flip the arms around the full 360, um, do full 360 at the top, 
of the arm and bend the elbow to a 90 degree bend. Uh, and the wrists can also move around as well. They can do the full 360, but again, um, it is kind of restricted on the bottom of these uh, sleeves. On the legs, uh, the legs do kind of move back and forth, but they don't really kick out. Um, it's literally just meant for walking, so you can't have the character, character sitting down or anything. Um, but they do offer uh, sort of 90 degrees on the knee joint. And obviously, as ever with these new sort of character toys, um, they don't have a joint on the ankle so instead they have one really awkwardly at the top of the leg which doesn't make that much sense to be honest it'd be easier to sort of drop this one and just go for the things here but um the legs do move out to an extent as well so we can kind of do the splits um but not really <laughs> um so yeah, articulation is good, and detail is pretty good in this figure. So I'd say this is definitely the better of the two companions that come in this set, um, hundred percent. Um, as well as the fact that I actually did like Ryan more as a character than Yaz. So, um, but that hasn't really influenced my opinion on this, um, because. You can clearly see when put side to side, which is kind of better. You can sort of see the differences um, in these two. Okay, guys, so we have the Jadoon Trooper right here. And as you can see, this looks very, very similar to the other Jadoon Trooper um, that you got with the 10th Doctor's era. Um, and that is because practically it's the same thing. Um, so, yeah. But we're still going to look over this because why not? Um, so, as you guys can see, the sculpting is really good on this one. I actually really, really like this. It's very, very accurate. Uh, face plate, very, very accurate. The mask looks great. Um, even going down to the body. You can see all the buckles on here, the buttons and the buckles and these sort of flaps here. Even down to the boots, there is so much detail on the boots with the clasps and the buckles on the boots as well. Um, as well as the grips on the bottom. Um, again, it has the sort of like legal information on the bottom. But yeah, uh, that is it. Uh, pretty much all of it's black except for this sort of like ring around here and all the buckles and belts and stuff like that um, But yeah overall uh, Amazing figure actually. I, I do really really like this one um, So the head has no movement um, The arms can do full 360 rotating around actually bend the uh, Elbow in this joint 90 degrees and I believe you can actually turn the wrists the full 360 and um, but they are a little bit loose on the top especially this one um, could just be mine um, coming down to the waist actually uh, this does actually have waist articulation uh, it just basically moves side to side um, and that's pretty much it uh, could do basically the full 360, but it's not worth uh, possibly breaking it for or damaging the paintwork on it, so there's no point. Um, with the legs, they can kick forward and backwards. Um, this is kind of hindered by the skirt um, right here. Um, but you can actually kick them back on a knee joint, um, which is actually quite cool. And you can move them apart to get the Jadoon uh, to sort of stand like that. So yeah, that is the Jadoon Trooper action figure. And 
yeah, this is basically the actual figure. Now what I want to do is go onto the accessory right here, which is the uh, the rifle gun. So looking at the end of this rifle, you can see there is the little sort of chrome uh, barrel right there. Uh, you can see this has the whole red theme all over this. Um, you got the little red dots to symbolize the lights on there, a bit of black in the middle, as well as um, this little sort of handle piece right back here uh, with the shoulder rest and what looks to be a scope um, on there too. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but could be. So the blaster accessory, the rifle blaster accessory, fits well into the um, the right arm of the Jiju. Um, it doesn't fit into the left hand. Um, I tried, uh, but the right hand it definitely fits in there very very well. It is well in scale with the Jadoon and works pretty well. It looks really really good displayed with this figure. So yeah, let's get on to a bit of a conclusion with this entire set. Overall, I think this set is a neat little set that um, contains um, literally the friends the friends and foe of the 13th Doctor. Um, I still would have preferred if they would have added this as the companion set and added this as a separate figure. Um, but really in the end, it doesn't matter too much that they did it like this. Um, it is kind of cool because you do get this figure um, with the companions and obviously Graham comes as a single figure. But yeah, I think it is pretty cool. The companions fit in very, very well, um, as in scale-wise with Graham, and also the 13th Doctor. Um, so they all fit in scale very, very well. But I do want to say that the Jadoon um, Trooper definitely fits in well with the Jadoon Captain right here. Um, with pretty much being pretty much the same figure, obviously with the head. But there is one major um, difference, and the Jadun Captain has this, which is the reader, uh, where the blank, um, where the Jadun Trooper is kind of just blank with that piece. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the weapons work really, really well together. Um, if anything, this one has more detail on it than the last one. So yeah, that is my review of the Friends and Foe of the 13th Doctor um, Limited Edition set right here. But yeah, that is it for this video. Please comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, take it easy and peace. Okay, so just got this one, and it is the Jadoon Cap, uh, not the Jadoon Captain, the Jadoon um, Soldier, I think. The Jadoon Troop. Okay, um, we're going to use this in the end of the vlog. Um, Jadoon Trooper.